have the uh, senior class. You guys can ask questions when you're ready. Zach, did you know you were going to start tonight? Uh, not till about three minutes before. Did you know you were going to score the first points? Uh, no, but uh, you know, Troy threw me a great pass, so I had to, I had to get him the assist. How how cool was that? To be able to do that? I mean, it was it was I mean it was cool, but I was just happy we got the win. How much did you two want to get him that first bucket? <laughs> I told him before the game, before we walked out. Oh, yeah. no, I do it <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I told him once the coach drew up the play, we was walking out before a tip off. I said, Tobes. If I come off this screen, you give me a hard duck, and I'm gonna give you this ball. Post him up hard, and the ball uh, we burst it to Kyle. It wasn't open. Come on, bro. <laughs> Thank you here. Reverse it to Kyle, and he swung it right back. And told him the nice duck in. Tried to fight over. He held him off like I knew he was gonna do over the top lay. And that's a bucket. This ten bucket toes. <laughs> Kevin, I, I know you guys don't talk about openly the goals you guys set before the season, but was going undefeated here one of those? And, and how much has that driven you guys to, to be only the fourth team to go undefeated in this arena? Oh, yeah, that definitely is a goal. Um, we know just role games are tough, so we got to protect our house. Uh, we know at the end of the day that would be a big part of, of our, our success, honestly. It, it is a decent amount of home games, so if you're able to protect the house, then, you know, uh, for freshman year, uh, we only lost one one game, and that was uh, Louisville here. And I remember uh, Coach and the seniors used to tell us, like, man, winning at home is a big, big key, and, and it's a big key to success as well. So uh, we took a game at a time, and we was able to actually go undefeated uh, at home and get the fans what they want. We always try to put on a show here and make sure everybody got a smile. What was the plan against, uh, particularly against Gray and – Dots and their two big scores. Uh, you held them pretty well in check, you guys. The main goal is don't let them score. Simply said, don't let Dotson shoot and don't let Gray do whatever he want to do. And uh, we was able to contain them um, throughout the zone. This is, I feel like our defense and the way we play our zone, our matchup is really tough for them. And uh, today we was able to just keep them on our chest um, and make make them shoot tough shots. And I think that's a big big key to why we. Uh, was able to play what we did today. Troy, you seem pretty locked down emotionally just watching you, but was that emotional for you, your final game here? Yeah, it was, uh, but it was so gassed up. You know what I'm saying? It was so gassed up for us. Everybody thought, oh, Troy, you gonna cry. Oh, Troy, you gonna cry. I actually thought I was, but you know, when I was walking out before they called Zach name, I was like, man, I'm not gonna cry because I can't have them all clowning on me for crying. So, you know, I just held it in you know, as best as I could. And then once, after they called my name and I walked on the court and it didn't hit me, I was good. I was like, oh yeah, this is senior night. Yeah, this is what it is. But I feel like it's gonna hit me tonight. You know, when I'm sitting at my house and I'm watching, you know, the, seeing all the tweets and stuff, you know, saying it's the last time, us three, fifth, third, uh, I think it's gonna hit me. What about you, Kevin, being from here? How, how emotional was it for you? Uh, I mean, I'm always gonna come back here. So this is a little different for me, but it's, it's more of them that I'm gonna miss more than anything. Uh, this team has a different kind of bond and chemistry. I mean, one through 13, uh, I just know in the back of my mind, it'll be nothing like it ever again in, in life. Uh, and that's, that'll be the toughest part for me when I really uh, get to sit down and think about, you know, just the four years, everybody I met here, just the fans, the love, the support, and definitely, man, my teammates, my coaches, I love them forever, and I know at the end of the day, this this is like that last go around. It's coming to an end, um, and that'll be the toughest part for me. But you know, Cincinnati's always in my heart. I'm my family here, and I always come back here. So it's more uh, the guys that I, I've truly met here and, and made memories with. Was it cool to get your picture taken with those former players after the game? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Shout out to them with a couple people from the '92 team and. Uh, got Cashman right here. He's a, a younger player than them, but it's always good seeing them. I love to see the old support from guys. They may be doing something right around here if they like to come back and watch us play. So definitely enjoy that. Troy, talk about your team's defense as you uh, head into the league tournament next week. Is this the best the team's been playing defensively this last uh, couple of games? No. I think this is the best we've played since the past five games. Uh, when we went to practice, the next day after we lost to Central Florida, coaches put our numbers on the board. Um, they were kind of mind-boggling because it's not Cincinnati basketball. And you know 
the, the couple of practices that we had before the game, he was focusing on you know, defense, defense, defense. Let's get back to what we was doing in the beginning of the year. Don't let the end of the year, you know, the long season, don't let that tire us out. Let's stay with it and you know, get back and doing what we do best, communicating, talking, and everybody being in sync. And, you know, this, this is the start of it today, which started in practice two days ago. Thank you, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.